In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do flawlessly seamed gradient nails. Before you start, you're going to need a sponge, liquid tape to help with cleanup, and the polishes that you want to gradient. You might also need a white polish as a base coat. To start the gradient, you're going to need a dry base of white nail polish, or if you're doing your gradient using two colours of the same shade or two similar shades, you can use a lightest colour as a base to help with cleanup afterwards. However, white polish does make the colours pop a lot more once they've been sponged on. If you're using a white base, you're going to need to clean up the edges of the white before you start sponging. When you start cleaning up the messy gradient later, you don't want the white showing through on the edges of the nail polish. It's not a huge deal, but if you want a flipless gradient, you don't want that happening. Once your base is dry, take the makeup sponge that you're going to use and make sure you remove all the dust and hair on it with a piece of tape before you start sponging. You don't want the dust transferring to your nail, and if you just clean the side that you were using, dust or hairs from the other sides of the sponge may transfer to the stamping side later on, so you want the sponge to be totally dust free. Now using your liquid tape, paint around each nail and slightly up the finger to help with clean up later on. One thick coat or two thinner coats work the best and peel off the easiest. To speed up drying time, hold your hands in front of a fan. Doing that reduces my drying time to about 30 seconds. If you don't have liquid tape, you can use regular tape on your fingers to help keep them clean or watch my tutorial on how to make your own liquid tape here. I've chosen to a peach to orange gradient with these two colours. The polish on the left is China Glaze Oh How Street It Is, and on the right is China Glaze Peachy King. Taking the sponge, paint on each colour to ensure that the whole of your nail length will be covered. Work quickly as you don't want the polish to soak into the sponge too much. Press the sponge onto the nail. As you can see, the first coat is sheer and uneven, but that's okay as we're just laying down a base at the moment. Sponge a base onto each nail to give all the nails enough time to dry. If the polish that you sponge on is still too wet when you go to add another coat, the sponge can pull the polish up off the nail and create an uneven coverage, which means you're going to have to go back and put more coats on to cover it up. Add enough coats with the sponge to get the polish opaque. At this point, you're going to have an obvious line on your nail where the two colours meet. We need to blend that out to create a flawless look. So taking the sponge with polish on it, press it on the nail in a zigzag pattern to help blend the polish line out. You may need to do this twice to make the blend perfect, and if the line is still obvious, then make your zigzag a little bit bigger. If you're using a really light colour and a really dark colour, and they are of similar shades or the same shade, you can use a middle polish to help blend it out. For example, if you're using white and black, you can add a grey in between them to reduce how much blending you have to do onto the nail. You can see now the seam between the two colours has been blended out perfectly. Taking some tweezers, remove the liquid tape, and then with a small angled brush and polish remover, clean around your cuticles. Now if you didn't clean up the white polish beforehand, it will now show through at this point. That's why it's really important to clean it up before you start sponging. Once they're all tidied up, apply a top coat to smooth out the texture the sponge will leave on your nails. I swear by Glisten and Glow HK Girl Top Coat because it never shrinks my nail polish as it dries like other quick dry top coats tend to do, and it also never smears my nail art like other top coats can. And this is the final result, a flawlessly seamed gradient. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on how to do a perfect gradient on your nails. And if you try this technique, I'd love to see them on Instagram or Facebook. All of my social media accounts are linked in the description box below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe or give it a like with a thumbs up. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. 
In this video, I'm going to show you an easy splatter nail design that requires almost no specific nail art tools and no advanced skill level to do. All you're going to need to do this design is a few nail polishes, a regular drinking straw, a peel off barrier or masking tape to help with cleanup after you're done, and a quick dry top coat to help it all dry faster. You're also going to need a disposable plastic or paper surface to work on that's going to protect your workspace from any polish splatter. For my splatter design, I'm going to be using a base of OPI Alpine Snow and then four of the new Hello Kitty by OPI polishes. I'm going to be using Kitty White, Small plus Cute equals Heart, Spoken from the Heart and Never Have Too Many Friends. Paint your base polish on and then let it dry. Now since we're going to be covering it with a heap of splattered polish, it really doesn't need to be opaque and it doesn't need to be perfect. Just cover the nail with one coat. Apply the peel off barrier to your fingers and let it dry, or if you're using tape, apply that. I'm using Liquid Palisade by Kiesk, but you can use whichever one that you have, or I have a tutorial here on how to make your own. Take the first polish that you're going to work with and put one drop of polish onto some plastic or into a dish. Taking the straw, dip one end of it into the polish, and then while the polish is still covering the end of the straw in a thin barrier, move it over the nail and blow quickly and sharply through the straw and onto the nail. You need to move really quickly in this part. If the polish doesn't spray off the straw and onto the nail, it's because the polish barrier separated to the edges of the straw, or you didn't blow hard enough to move the polish. Repeat this process with all the polishes that you've chosen to use. Remove the barrier or the tape and then with a small angled brush clean any polish off your cuticles and fingers that may be left. Keeping in mind that this is a very messy design. Apply a top coat to seal and smooth the design down and I'm using a quick dry top coat to help dry the polish faster. And that's it, the end result is an edgy look that's really simple to do but looks really complicated. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and if you did then please give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.